Ephraim's in Christ. On this day, the 28th of October, we celebrate the Feast of Saints, Simon and Jude Apostles. You probably hear your name called several times daily. But it's not every call that is of importance. There are times when a call, even if it is by phone, could mark a life-changing experience. Call to bar, the call through the aisle on wedding day, think of the call on the day of baptism, confirmation, ordination, or the call-up letter of admission, graduation, honor, and so on. These calls are beyond just the mention of one's name. They are the calls people wait for all of their lives, the calls that change their world. We celebrate today two people who were called and chosen to become part of the foundation of the Christian faith, since Simon and Jude. Simon, who is called the Zealot or Cananeus, was one of the disciples of Jesus who eventually was part of the chosen twelve. Not much is written about him, but he is believed to have worked strenuously for the spread of the gospel and suffered martyrdom. St. Jude, who is also referred to as Thaddeus, was the one who questioned Jesus on why he showed himself to the apostles only and not to the world. For many centuries, he was scarcely venerated because he was confused with the other apostle by the same name, Judas Iscariot. He is the writer of the letter of St. Jude. He is venerated as a patron saint of lost and desperate causes. Our first reading today is taken from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 19 to 22, and reminds us of one of the truths of our faith, that it was built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. He says, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus being the cornerstone. Just as the nation of Israel is built on its 12 tribes, so is the church with its beginning on the 12 apostles. Paul tells us, therefore, that from wherever and whichever generation, no one is a stranger or just an onlooker, baptized into Christ Jesus. We are all stakeholders in the faith that has come down to us from Christ through the apostles. We are therefore members of the household of God. That's how fortunate we are in Christ. Today's gospel is from Luke chapter 6, verses 12 to 19, and reveals to us the list of the apostles, and of course includes the two whose feast we celebrate today, Simon the Zealot and Judas, son of James. The decision to choose these men for the office of service to the universal church, we are told was not a child's play. Jesus went out into the hills to pray, and all night he continued in prayer to God. The great and small decisions of our lives are better made with prayer. There's no time when prayer is not needed. Jesus started and ended everything with prayer. What about you? Let us pray. Lord, thank you for calling and choosing me. Help me to be a true disciple of yours to the world of today. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.